and welcome to the last episode of the Loft Season 5. Your element of the week is nickel. The atomic symbol for nickel is Ni, and the atomic number is 28. It has a melting point of 2,651 degrees and a boiling point of 5,278 degrees. Nickel makes up between 30 and 40 percent of the average steel alloy, which, next to iron, was the most common metal that medieval knight armor was made out of. Tell me again, why is it I never can do anything right? Complicated theories of life, sarcastically. But we have both known the way it's gonna go. In the same way, maybe I'm not all that you You're watching The Loft. Good to see all your faces. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 I don't know. This is bad because we can't hear Ryan. Are you sure you can't? Yeah. I'm unmuted. That's, I mean, I'm trying to, like, lip read, but it's not very... Oh, God. <laughs> As much in the shade of that baseball cap, it's not helping. <laughs> How are you, Miss Mom? Oh, I'm pretty good. You know, just trying to wrap everything up for the year mm -hmm. and everything. But yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just missing that normal last week.
topic of school, you know, and like actually mm -hmm. say goodbye to people and, you know, just have things be normal, but it's yeah. all, you know, yeah. along with it. That's but okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been to school a few times for, you know, yearbook distribution and different stuff, and it's weird being in the building when yeah. it's you know yeah I went to like the drive-thru that they had to like turn my textbook yeah and I saw you as well <laughs> <laughs> that's the only reason you came right no I'm just kidding. yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man no that was fun that gave me life honestly like seeing people like seeing um my students from this year and seeing some of my students from last year and seeing like my yearbook students it's been really yeah to not be part of that process of, you know, they've worked on the book all year and they just want to see people's mm -hmm. reactions because it's like, yeah, something really special to them. So I feel like really sad that they didn't get to <laughs> that moment of like seeing people be like, oh, you know, whatever reacting. So what have you guys been doing in quarantine? Um, okay, actually nothing. Getting fat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> don't even say things like that, your young body and metabolism. <laughs> right. This is the time of your life. So for like the yearbook class, is there like a specific job that you do like for the whole year? Or can you do like everything? You do different stuff. Yeah, it's so for the two years, the first year you're basically on staff. Mm -hmm. um, which means that, you know, you're doing all these different roles. You're taking pictures, you're designing the pages, you're writing the, the copies and like the interviews and different stuff and descriptions, and you're putting it all together. Um, and then as a second year student, you have the opportunity to be in a leadership position, essentially. So like I had to do interviews actually over Google Meet um, with my students who are moving into their second year to determine who are the editors in chief. There are section editors, so like people in charge of the sports section or people in charge of student life, and they have like creative direction over that. So they're kind of in charge of making sure that like the vision kind of comes out. So you kind of get to do everything, honestly, which some people really like and some people are like, oh, I just want to do this one. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> but and then normally when you start off as a first year student, you're paired up with other people who work on your pages at first. So like kind of a chance to learn and get adjusted. Mm -hmm. So much pressure, but it's yeah. fun. I try to give people what they want. Like I'm not, like if somebody says like, I really want this basketball page and you know, <laughs> they're not competing against somebody else for it, then I'm gonna be like, yeah, go for it. If you're excited about it, if you know people and you wanna do it or if you have vision for it then do it. So it's really just, I want my staff to be able to do what they're excited about. Obviously, there are responsibilities and things that come up that not everybody wants to do. Um, but I try to make it as fun as possible because then it makes the book better. Like if people want to work on certain things, then if they get excited, it's just better for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Your bird of the week is me. Two hours later. your word of the week is matriculate, which means to be enrolled in a college or university. So good luck to all of our graduating seniors wherever you're going. And that means matriculating, taking a gap year, or going straight into a career. You're watching the law. Uh, one thing I miss about C100 is the whole process of brainstorming. 
it's really fun to throw out like silly ideas and see what cool stuff you guys can build off of for the for the week ahead i also miss the feeling of like pride when you're in class on friday like showing off your segment and seeing their reactions all right go now Whoa! But within five seconds, you got to act out your favorite TikTok. Wouldn't you like to know, Weather Boy? Probably the ones where it's like, it catch you off guard. It's like, I'm doing this. I don't know how to say it. I don't know like a description. Peppa. James. What? Oh, um, so the bird of the week is a snowy egret. Thank you. Off shirts are the best, Centennial Blue. It's got the, look at this, it's got the blue that it's cut out. I mean, how cool is that? If you don't have a loft shirt, I mean, I don't know what you're doing, so. <laughs> no! Uh. If you eat it, then loft automatically wins. <laughs> Chris has just won the first episode of Loft vs. Rise. So what are the rules of disc golf? So basically you throw from a tee, and you have a basket somewhere, you know, 200 to 400 feet out. And you're trying to, just like in golf, you're trying to get there in the least amount of throw. Cooking with Beak. All right, welcome everybody to the first edition of Cooking with Beak. Is who here? Henderson! <laughs> Henderson! I'm back! He's back! You got the job! I got the job! Gosh, one time I had Cheerios and I put chocolate milk in my Cheerios and it slapped. Sh slapped. Who are you voting for for this year's homecoming court? Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Hi, my name is Gray Sarton. <laughs> See or no? See. See. <laughs> Will anybody raise their hand if we'll go to homecoming with me? Oh, dude, what do you think you're doing pushing me around like that, man? I'm not pushing you, you ran into me. Dude, you definitely ran into me, I don't think but so. you're still in my hall without a pass. I'm Steve. You're, I don't care who you are, you gotta get that signed by the AP office. You can't just sign that yourself. Dude, what? Dude, you can't just. Alright, guys. Wish me luck! I told you to stay off the rock wall. I never went on the rock wall before. It's the same thing that happened the last time you was on the rock wall. It looks like fun, though. It's I like that rock wall. Rock wall. So stay off the rock wall. My head hurts. Little green man, you are no match for my hammer. Oh, hey, Thor here. Your number of the week is four. It's four because Thor four. I don't know. Weird though. In related news, what the? One some food for thought, and ten is the spot. Yeah, football was a little off, but the nice lacrosse will make your body drop. Like my signature kabob, nearly walked through the house. GPA never falls. Drop a pin, Ho Chi Minh, West Berlin. Logging in and studying with Quizlet. Mama checked the transcript. She said, fantastic. My mathematics schematics are automatic. Grades are never tragic. Oh, got the magic. Okay, vacay. It's time to relocate. How we illustrate? Leave Y'all stuck when we demonstrate the in-depth complexity of rhymes y'all couldn't make. Couldn't pack as much heat, even if you tried to incubate. Don't underestimate.
late nights don't play Think you need to reevaluate Not up but deep Hey, it's time to update. Oh wait, I forgot the morning shows you watch are soft. Check out the rise or the loft. Make that trade off. Centennial nights, think, learn, create. We collaborate on the way to our best stage. Time to end this like Rutherford B. Hayes. Reconstruction has been made. You're welcome for the band. I mean, yeah, I'm a knight on the roll and taking flight. They said that we can't be best, but then we did it out of spite. Uh, other schools be lacking, but we focused on our deep. PA, we working hard to get these grades like none of us gon' disobey The teachers underpaid, help us make it out of state uh, No will be the admin, but he not no anime I put the A in AMDM Excuse me, Shannon Scholar coming through Bout to make a move Aces test, got you caught up in a few Nights, family stay tight like super glue Sin, tense, blood, everything I need Nights be shining like light and beams We'll be aware about the future, but I'm living in the present It's a tiny let set me up to succeed We gon' blow like chemistry Cause success is in our genes Yeah, you know we put in work Yeah, yeah, we exceed All your needs, needs are quality Coming through your screens And by any means necessary Sorry. My brain to the test, being the bold and the best, come after the rest. Credits like none can compare, college and high school stay fair. At the same time, I'm walking the dual world line. Shut up and shut the door tight. I study all night from miles away. I can hear my class shout louder than loud. Nights, nights. And y'all wonder why we're ready for life. I'm hungry for knowledge. It feeds my adrenaline, repeating my nose to push to be better than the classes before me and the ones that come after. Training my brain to be faster and faster. Jumping ahead to be extra spectacular. Enrolling in college to build my vernacular. Look at Centennial actually preparing our students to make a better, brighter future. Our best days are ahead. So nice. International baccalaureate, don't forget your ballpoint pen when you pull up to some ten. Registration never ends. This is the conclusion. Waiters in the mental confusion. Just remember, nights are no illusion. Hey, Centennial, your number of the week. You're still here? Great! Well, since it's just you and I, I'd like to show you one of my biggest projects that I've been working on this past semester. Everything Wrong with the Loft, aka Loft CinemaSins. Now you might be thinking, James, isn't this cyberbullying? No, 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 no. This isn't cyberbullying. This is poking fun at the silly mistakes that we made on the loft. I wanted to make a big project as a way of remembering Loft Season 5. And what better way to do it than grabbing a cold soda, re-watching the episodes, and poking fun at them? If you're familiar with the YouTube channel CinemaSins, I do the exact same thing here. I have a sin counter that tells me the amount of oopsies the Loft has made throughout the year. I add or subtract the points depending on how good or not good the Loft segment was. 
It was really fun and I had a blast making it. If you're interested in this, click the card above to see the video. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there's mild profanity in the videos. So if you watch The Loft with your 7 year old brother, I recommend not watching with him. Anyways, thank you Season 5 for teaching me not just how to make movies, but how to make great friendships with tons of incredible people. Peace out, hasta la vista, see you later.